Hello, I'm Keith Benedict. And I'm Louis Gaposton. And I'm William Herr. And we're juniors at Kennedy Fremont High School. This is Project Stingray. Our table of contents. Our mission, problem, solution, proposal. Redesign changes and design explanation. How does this better the competition? Our mission. During this hackathon is to first identify a problem in Mesa comp competitions. Then we brainstormed solutions and we ended up coming up with changes for our solutions. And lastly, we explained the solutions that will make Mesa quote unquote better. Problem. The problem we are running into in this Mesa Cargo Glide competition, and we believe we can fix it. The rubber band we currently use to launch the glider is very inconsistent and can hinder the performance of the glider. The rubber band goes to wear and tear as it's being used, and if shifted even slightly to left or right can disrupt the intended flight path. Resolution proposal. What if we can resolve this issue? By redesigning the current launcher, we can eliminate limitations and errors of the rubber bands. Project Seamer to the rescue. Design changes. We first tried to improve on the method of using the rubber band, but we found that the rubber band was just too inconsistent. And sometimes it was difficult to hold the rubber band steady for five seconds before the launch. So we went out to find better designs that would, in theory, yield similar or better results while being easier to use. The result, switch to a spring. Launching device that we had in mind resolved the inconsistencies and issues of the rubber band by replacing it with a spring. This is the Stingray. The gliders would be set on the top of this device and the part that would connect to the launcher would be placed in the front of the hook. The small gray rectangle in the middle of this device is the hook, which is attached to the plunger. The red feature that is on the side is the removable pin that stops the plunger from sliding forward. The stopper pin would be placed in the hole in front of where the plunger is pulled back to so that it would hold the plunger at the desired pullback length until the launch. Here's what goes on on the inside of the stingray. A spring on the inside of the plunger is connected to the inside of the box, which naturally slides the hook forward. The farther back that the plunger is pulled, the more compressed the spring becomes. The stopper pin is placed at the desired position to keep the hook at the desired length until the launch. When the participants are ready to launch, they simply remove the pin and the spring will quickly unwind, sending the hook and their glider forward. How would this better the competition? In theory, the Stingray should even the playing field for all competitors, so it would come down slowly to who has the best cargo glider. Air trails caused by the rubber band will be gone with this new launcher redesign. Thank you.